And again, this is a hollow shell of liquid with all the tiny bubbles forming in the shell. Now the rhetorical question comes about how can you remove all these bubbles and get back to a sphere of liquid again? And so here we're sticking in a syringe and sucking out the air. And as this happens, the whole system shrinks in volume. And you keep withdrawing the air until you can see that, that a uh, liquid is starting to be withdrawn from the syringe, and, and then uh, you've gotten the, the big air pocket by. And now we're left with a sphere filled with all these little tiny bubbles. And what you can do now is you can start to stir it here with, with this Teflon cannula, and you can get the, the a rotation motion started. And as we've seen in previous uh, Saturday morning science demonstrations, a rotating motion causes the bubbles to go to the center in this tornado-looking uh, core. And then you can stick in another cannula, and you can uh, remove uh, the bubble core. I'm hoping the folks uh, that we worked with in the PCS system with the new new water pump cooling loop and the air bubble that's in there, I hope they're watching this because we might be able to get some ideas for getting that bubble out. And here, the, the last little collection of fine bubbles in the core are being removed. And here's a demonstration of what happens of wicking action with a towel. This is one of our standard uh, uh, towels that we use on station, and you can see how once it touches the, the sphere of water, the uh, capillary wetting uh, draws, withdraws the, the water into the towel in this rather thick film. And we're right back to where we started now with uh, just a, a thin film on a wire loop.